Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll do some, uh, what do you say, accessories upgrade on the Triumph uh, Trident. Uh, I'll uh, install the quick shifter because I always felt this bike was designed for quick shifter but they didn't bundle it because of the cost so we'll uh, get that done today. And also uh, I'll put an engine guard. So let's get out. It's become pretty hot so i'll just leave uh, and hopefully i'll be the first person in the farm showroom so that we can get this done early and let's see if the quick shifter makes a difference because what i felt is uh, default uh, on the tram tried it even after the first service the gear shifts are a little bit clunky i would say so on the way guys and Hyderabad has become pretty hot now uh, in the mornings almost we are touching 40. So let's quickly head to the showroom. We'll get the quick shifter installed and in the later part of the video, I'll also ride the bike with the quick shifter to give you my raw first impressions. What do I feel about the quick shifter? And apart from the quick shifter, I'll also put a small engine guard accessory uh, that I forgot putting when I purchased the bike. So we'll also get that. And hopefully uh, Tram guys will let us shoot uh, the installation of the quick shifter. So let's head to the showroom so guys here we are at the showroom and a bunch of accessories uh, i'm looking for the quick shifter and other stuff so let's see if we can get it guys this is the quick shifter that uh, we are going to put on the trident is this specifically for the trident or like uh, this works on anything Whole trident is. only speci specifically oh so yeah so just notice this is for the rocket or something so small here it's big one <laughs> I also opted for this engine guard that goes over the engine. Uh, so we'll also get this done. And these accessories are pretty expensive. I'll show you the invoice later on. Here is Srikanth and we are going to fix the quick shifter. And uh, the quick shifter will come over here, this area. So we'll see that. And I'm going to put that pan over here. So yeah, this is the quick shifter and we're going to install it. Also, the engine guard uh, was uh, being installed. So the quick shifter is installed, but we have to do actually an ECU update. So Srikanth is just uh, doing the ECU update. So guys, the quick shifter has been fitted now. I'm also getting the Sadi guard uh, removed. And by the way, guys, uh, shooting this video with the Galaxy S22 Plus. So let me know about the video quality. So guys, I uh, have put the quick shifter and uh, still in the uh, parts of the city uh, what this uh, quick shifter does is for example right now shifting the gear i'm pressing the clutch with the quick shifter uh, actually you don't have to press the clutch so it's a lot quicker and downshift and for example i'm fourth i'm not going to touch the car i'm in third i just press down so this is both way up and down and but while accelerating see as you can see i went to fourth uh, but the thing is that uh, when you are upshifting, especially uh, the RPM should be above 4000 for a very smooth shift. Uh, uh, below that, uh, it's not recommended. You can do it, but uh, it's not that smooth. But after fourth, uh, it's just like butter, I would say. Down shifting, yes, of course, you can do. Again, if I find an open road, I'll uh, give you an idea. Uh, about uh, two kilometers from here, we have the ORR. I'm going to downshift, I'm in fourth. I'm um, in second without clutch as you can see so down shifting is a lot easier also so you don't have to de-accelerate when you're shifting the gear the throttle should be actually uh, on you don't have to pull down the throttle so that's what the quick shifter does and as I've told you the shifting above 4000 is very very smooth with the quick shifter looks like this bike was designed uh, with the for a quick shifter again fourth oh, second and it's pretty hot today uh, must be about 40 degrees celsius in Hyderabad and uh, now it's been eight kilometers from the showroom and i can feel the heat from the radiator also but definitely the quick shifter has made the shifts a lot smoother and yeah obviously you have to press the clutch when you are like uh, putting the first gear and i've noticed the first gear now after the quick shifter also this has become way way smoother 
डाउन शिफ्टिंग आई एम एबल टू डू इन ट्राफिक ऑल्सो आई वॉज इन फोर्थ आई पुल टू दर्ड ना आई प्रेस द क्लच बिकॉज द आर पी एम वॉज नॉट अब फोर थाउजेंड यू कैन डू वर्ड बिलो दैट ऑल्सो बट लॉट मोर स्मूथ आर आफ्टर फोर थाउजेंड दैट्स हाउ इट्स मैंट टू बी यूज आई एम गो टू यूज इट फॉर डाउन शिफ्टिंग ऑल्सो See now it's in sixth. I'm not going to hit the youth clutch. Fifth. Definitely, it helps while accelerating. You don't have to like that half a second delay with the clutch and that. And it's smoother to shift. For some reason, it feels even if I'm doing manually uh, gear shift, it's a little bit smoother for this one. so it's not like yeah, i'm using the quick shifter every time but the regular gear shifts i feel have become slightly smoother after this uh, quick shifter so guys uh, that is it for some of the major accessories on this uh, trident now the only one that is left right now is the uh, what do you say radiator guard but uh, apparently um, tramp does not make uh, that uh, accessory for the radiator guard silly so i have to get a aftermarket one for that as you can see quick shifter you, you don't leave the accelerator while you shifting is regarding the costing and again um, accessories for all these super bikes are very expensive uh the quick shifter uh is with the tax and all those things worked out to about 29650 almost 30000 and the engine protector cover was about 14400 and for installation also they took uh, what do you say charge that's uh, 1180 so the total came to about uh, 45000 that's the thing guys with all these super bikes and all those things the accessories and stuff are also expensive you're planning for that also take into account that also in the overall cost let's see if i ride a little bit more uh, i'll uh, then uh, post its full review so if you have any specific questions do let me know and i'll try to actually include that in the review video so i want to keep the review video based on specific questions that you guys have so let me know in the comment section Anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is Ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys bye bye